I think this is another left back. That's got to be the end of Denver Hume now, surely. So it's signing number seven, I think. I think it's signing number seven. Uh, apologies, the lighting's a bit um, atrocious there, but signing number seven um, of the window, I believe, uh, in Niall Huggins, who I believe is a left back and obviously has just arrived from Leeds. And as you can see by the title, he's a penned a four year deal um, on Weir side. Um, you know the drill by now? Statement time. Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Niall Huggins. The versatile fullback joins the club from Leeds United and puts pen to paper on a four year deal at the Stadium of Light. Huggins, 20, who made his Premier League debut for Leeds during the 2021 campaign, featured as a second-half substitute against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Born in York, the Wales Under-21 international joined the Ellen Road outfit in 2009 and rules through the club's renowned academy sorry, re-owned, sorry, renowned rather, academy system before signing for his first professional contract in May 2019. Huggins, who can operate on both defensive flanks and in central midfield, impressed for Leeds under 23 throughout last season, totaling 17 appearances in Premier League 2 while also representing the club in the EFL trophy. Upon his arrival, Upon his arrival, can't speak tonight. Upon his arrival, Huggins said, I'm absolutely buzzing to be here, and as soon as the opportunity arose, I knew straight away this was a huge opportunity for me to develop my game. For me, the, th the thing I want to do now is play first team football, so we have seen some of the young lads coming in and uh, having a chance to prove themselves. And seeing the fans' reaction to it, it is really good, and it made me want to come here even more. I'm really excited to get started. Lee Johnson added, Niall is an interesting player and tactically he's very versatile. He's also good physically in terms of his speed or very good physically in terms of his speed and acceleration and he's a good dribbler whether that be at left back or right back. He's a bright kid and he's had a very good education at Leeds but now it's the right time for him to step into that first team environment. Niall is another one that we have added to our stable of quality young players so we are very happy to have him and we are looking forward to working with him. So as stated in the intro I definitely think that this is probably the end for Denver Hume. Now I know it's says he can I know that Huggins apparently can play left back and right back so in a, lo in a logical way this makes sense it makes sense that we're going for someone who's versatile in both positions and can fill the slots in either position um but I want but it depends because if Huggins is signed specifically as left back I think that's Denver Hume gone now there were reports earlier today that Lee Johnson basically said that Denver Hume's still stalling on a contract offer and I think to be honest as much as I liked Denver Hume I think it's about time we move on as for Huggins um a couple of Leeds I think Lee, some Leeds fans have said they didn't want him to go and Bielsa probably didn't want him to go at Leeds um because I know they've got a lot of cover in the fullback positions so in a lot of ways this is actually quite encouraging um and obviously it's a four-year deal again like I've said this so many times, uh, it highlights what we're trying to do as a, with a model now. And unfortunately, but we're going to have to get used to the idea that we're going to sign players in for cheap and sell them for profit. That's exactly what this model's there for. And we need to be self-sustainable. But I won't bore you with that because I've gone on about that loads of times. Um, but again, it just shows, doesn't it? Now that we've got Huggins, I think there's going to be hopefully good competition for Sirkin. Uh, and so far, I like the look of what I've seen of Sirkin in the games. But um, there you have it. Um, so there you go. What do you think of the signing? Um, I would imagine that we might go for one more specialist right back. Sorry, we might go for a specialist right back. But with that in mind, I think that'll be the fullback positions. The club will feel that they're covered. I still want two specialist right backs, but I don't think we're going to get two. I think I can see us getting one, though. Um, I'll love you and leave you there. See you all later. Obviously, if you're watching this on Friday night, as I've uploaded it, I'm going to be going on the show with Thane. If you've already watched it, either post 9 o'clock Friday or Saturday morning, then the next video you'll probably see of me is on the game against Wimbledon. Hopefully it's a win. How are the lads? Stay safe, everyone, and take care, as always. And like, comment, and subscribe.